have enabled the main parachutes to deploy. These main parachutes, which are three in number, are very, very large in size. 25 meters each. Khubsurat nazara ye. Three main parachutes deployed ho chuke hain. Aur ya wa antim charan hai jab preview module ki gati ko. Preview module has safely landed at the target point. Mission udeshya prapt kar liya gaya hai. Ab aapko samodhit karenge isro adhyaksh Shriya Somnath. ISRO has achieved a successful test vehicle flight and has moved a step closer to the prestigious Gaganyaan mission. We take leave from you. Do continue to stay tuned for the address by Secretary DOS, Chairman ISRO, Shri S. Somnath. Aap sabhi darshako ko shubh kaam nai. Hum aap se aagya lete hai. Uchai 1.5 kilometers. Indian Navy team is readily deployed in the sea around the Sri Harikota coast for quickest possible reaching to the crew module and then recovering it. Ant me touchdown ke pashat main parachute ko bhi crew module se alag kar diya jayega. Tatha crew module apne aas paas rang bhi kher dega jise isse locate karne me aasani hogi. वहाँ सुरक्षित दूरी पर तैनात प्लस सेवन मिनट भारतीय नौसेना के पोत इसके पास जाकर उसे रिकवर करेंगे। I'm very happy to announce the successful accomplishment of the TVD1 mission. The purpose of this mission was to demonstrate the crew escape system for the Gaganyan program through a test vehicle demonstration in which the vehicle has gone up to a uh, Mach number which is a speed of sound slightly above that and initiated a, an abort condition for the crew escape system to function. Uh, it uh, took the crew escape system, took the crew module away from the vehicle and uh, subsequent operations of the crew module separation from the crew escape system, all the parachutes opening and touched down on in the sea at the required velocity has been very well accomplished and we have got confirmation of the data of all of this. And uh, we will be further doing the uh, approach recovery operations of the crew module to be collected from the sea, brought to the port by the ships, that activity will continue to happen. Uh, till now, based on the data, everything has performed very nominally and perfect. I will also like to tell the reason for why we had a hold. Uh, we initially wanted the launch to happen at 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, but there was some weather related issues. We have rescheduled the launch to 8.45 a.m. But after going through the nominal liftoff process, there was a hold issued by the ground computer, which is called the uh, automatic launch sequence computer, which detected a sort of a uh, non-conformance for allowing the engine to continue the thrusting to further go. So this happened due to a monitoring anomaly in the system. So we could identify it very, very fast and correct it. And uh, to make the stage ready, it took some time to refill the gases. And that once that has been completed, we went through the proper automatic launch sequence, which uh, checked the entire health of the vehicle. And finally, the mission computer and the ground checkout computer authorized the launch to take off, which uh, released the rocket from the launch pad and subsequent activities of the flight as well as the post. Uh, termination about uh, sequence also got executed perfectly. So I'm very happy that our team could understand uh, in case of any anomaly how to rectify, rectify and come back fast as fast. And uh, congratulations to everybody.